getting off with a bang. Get through workout. All these sections up here are focusing on your lower extremity. Your warm up is going to be a massive lap. Once you get to the bottom of the hill, you're going to lunge the rest of the way. Making sure that every lunge is deep and beautiful. If that is just too far for you to lunge perfectly the whole way up, feel free to do a couple of perfect lunges and then take a couple of steps. Perfect lunges and a couple of steps. You can do these sections in any order that you see fit. Today's interval is going to be plus 10 jump squats. Make sure we're getting squats in there. We're not just doing the jump jumps. Uh, and then after every section, they will increase by 10. Uh, and then one hill. Get, uh, go out there, hit a little reset, shake your legs out, get ready for your next section. Hills are going to stay the same. You starting at the top, suitcase stands. You and your partner are going to have your own set of kettlebells. It's going to be ladder style, so your partner's going to do two, then you do two. Your partner does four, you do four. Six, six, eight, eight, adding two. Uh, all the way up to 16. But whenever we squat down to get these, make sure that we're squatting down to where we can grab both handles of the kettlebells, but we're only going to come up with one. Making sure that we are trying to stay as straight up and down as possible. We're not tilting to pick it up. Uh, we're going to get all those stabilizer muscles engaged. So he does one and two, then I will do one and two. Then he will do one, two, three, four, and I will do one, two, three, all the way up to 16. Uh, deadlift, gonna be over there uh, on the black rubber mat. Here's the deal with these deadlifts. I don't wanna see any uh, body pump bars out for those, okay? They're all gonna be used with the Texas bars, the Olympic bars, or if you're going light and you can't do 40 reps with the Texas bar, just use a kettlebell, okay? Uh, variations, we're gonna do four sets but not four sets of each. You can do one of each variation, or you can do all four of one. You can do two and two, it does not matter, but we're gonna do four sets a piece uh, each person. Make sense? Okay, cool. Uh, single leg deadlifts. If you are not very good at deadlifting regular, let's not go ahead, let's not attempt to these, but notice how his back is nice and flat. Hips are staying square with the ground. He's battling balance. Uh, with form here, so if you're not good with deadlifts, let's not try to attempt these. If you want to give her a whirl, try that little kickstand right there. I feel like it works uh, just as good. But we're going to do 10 on each side. Light is going to be 40 reps, so make sure that you are grabbing something challenging, yet you can do 40 of. Uh, and then medium, uh, I'd like for you to, if most of you use the uh, Texas bar, most of you can do 20 deadlifts with a 45 pound bar. Promise. But this is how it looks here. Hinging at the hips, slight bend in the knees, feel that pull on the hamstrings, and then when we come up, we're going to squeeze those glutes when we get to the top. And then heavy, you're gonna be 10 reps with the bar as well. Uh, wall sit, active rest is gonna be up here. We got Bulgarian split squats. This is going to be each leg. So we're starting off at five. That's how I'd like for you to saddle up because if you just come up to the box, I push your foot on there and just do one of these. Check the thing. You don't know how far out you are. So if you just come up to the box, boom, you know where you're at, and you just make a neat little turn. Make sure that he's staying as upright as possible. Whenever he goes down, that knee is not passing that toe. Uh, and then he's going to switch. Five on the right, five on the left. On these lower reps, if you want to challenge yourself, grab a set of dumbbells, added resistance, please feel free. Increasing by five on each leg, all the way up to 20. 20 circle because that's going to be optional if you and your partner want to go the extra mile, knock that one out. Squat hold, curtsy to side lunge. One of you gets down into a nice deep squat while the other does a curtsy and then he's going to go immediately into a side lunge. Reps are starting at two. So he's going to do two on one side and then he's going to do two on the other. Beautiful. And then he will go into that squat hold while his partner does two on one side, two on the other. Uh, again, if you want to add some added resistance while those reps are low, grab a set of dumbbells, put a bar on your back, grab a kettlebell. Uh, we're adding two all the way up to 10. Last but not least, we got kettle swings. This is gonna be your active rest, so you don't have to really grab something super heavy. 
Uh, but we got goblet sumo squats. These are gonna go up underneath the chin, bring it in nice and tight to the body. It's wide stance, toes pointing out about 45 degrees. Making sure that we're keeping that proud chest when we go down, we're dropping those hips. We're not hinging at the hips like we do a deadlift, so we're squatting, there we go. We're squatting, proud chest. Uh, reps are starting at 20, starting out high, so that, rep, that weight should be lighter. And then as those reps decrease, let's jack that weight up. Any questions? I don't have any. Awesome.